This is a summary of adrenergic receptors and their actions throughout the body. There are four main adrenergic receptors. There are really more than this, but these are the four worth knowing. Alpha-1 is color-coded blue in this diagram and in the, in the table. Alpha-2 is red, and the beta-1 and beta-2 are both green. Let's start with alpha-1. Alpha-1 goes through a G protein that is G protein Q polypeptide. The second messengers of interest here are inositol-3-phosphate and DAG, diacylglycerol. Inositol-3-phosphate results in increased calcium ion concentration, and DAG results in increased protein kinase C. The location and receptor of uh, the adrenergic receptor alpha-1 is in the smooth muscles throughout the body. In the blood vessels, smooth muscle constriction causes vasoconstriction and increases your blood pressure. In the bladder neck, alpha-1 can cause sphincter contraction, and in the GI tract, you can also get sphincter contraction. So you'll hold in your stools and you'll hold in your urine, thanks to alpha-1. Iris dilator muscle in the eye can result in medriasis. Next is alpha-2. This has a GI protein subunit, which is an inhibitory G protein. The second messenger here is decreased cyclic AMP, which results in decreased calcium ion concentration. In the different parts of the body, in the ciliary body, you can have decreased aqueous humor secretion. In the pancreas, you can have decreased insulin secretion. In the platelets, you can have induced platelet aggregation. And in the nerves, the prejunctional nerves, you can have decreased norepinephrine release. Next is beta-1, or GS, protein subunit. This is a stimulatory G protein. Second messenger here is the opposite of the GI G protein subunit. So increased cyclic AMP, increased calcium ion concentration. This is an ionotrope. So in the heart rate, you can have increased heart rates in the conduction velocity can also go up and the force of contraction can also go up. In the kidneys, you can have increased renin release. Lastly, for this table is beta-2, which is also G-stimulatory protein. This has a mixed effect for the second messengers. The main effect is increased cyclic AMP with increased calcium ion concentration, but there is some influence from the other second messengers as well. In the liver, this results in increased glyconeogenesis. In the pancreas, you can have increased insulin secretion. And in the smooth muscles, you actually do relaxation. So in the bladder, you'll have relaxation of the bladder. In the blood vessels, you can have vasodilation, which results in decreased blood pressure. In the bronchioles, you can have bronchodilation, which makes it good for uh, some diseases like asthma or COPD. And in the uterus, it causes uterine relaxation. I hope this summary of adrenergic receptors and their actions was helpful, and thank you for listening.